I'm Kelly. And I'm Leslie. And we're the Dollar Saving Divas. We know how hard it is to provide your family with everything they need while still being able to treat yourself. Everyone wants to be able to afford the most fashionable accessories, the newest styles, and those special evenings out without breaking the bank. That's for sure. Over the years, we've found some tips and tricks to make this luxury lifestyle affordable, and we want to share those secrets with you. In each of our podcasts, we'll be sharing our suggestions for luxury living for less. Everything from how to spot the secondhand deals to tips for maximizing your rewards points. We want to help you save money. Thanks for joining us. Now let's start saving. Well, today's podcast is close to Leslie and my heart. Uh, It's great dining deals. And it was from our recent vacation in Naples, Florida, of which I was really excited about having to say we had to do Dollar Saving Divas podcast information by going out and eating and drinking our way through Naples. Yes, exactly. It was a tough assignment. Really, really hard. But somebody has to do it. Well, yeah. It it, it didn't take us too long to to do it, but we we got got it done within a week. Well, the first place we want to talk about is Cafe Milano. I love this place. I've been there several times. I was actually there in the spring on my birthday. Seven days a week, they have from 3 to 5 p.m., one half off the entire menu and happy hour drinks. I mean, you cannot, I mean, they had $36 entrees that you got for $18. It was awesome. They have, you know, Leslie, I love my meatballs. I, I you know, it's kind of like know, my chili. Yeah. So they had the best meatballs. And I got them for $4.50. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can't beat that. No, you can't. And they had calamari and shrimp for eight bucks. I mean, and these portions were huge. So, And one of my favorite people there, he's one of the managers. You'll love this. I never get his name right, but it's called Massimiliano Toni. Now, wow. that's really Italian. That's a mouthful. It's a mouthful. <laughs> it's definitely a mouthful. Well, this is it's a great place, and um, house wine is like $5, well drinks are $5, beer $4. It's just an off, awesome place, and it's all, right on Fifth Avenue in uh, Old Naples. Okay, and then um, Beachy, I think, is also on Fifth Avenue. Yes, right? yeah. yes, it is. Yeah, and they've got their happy hour starts at 3.30. I love that the happy hour start at 3 and 3.30. So their happy hour is 3.30 to 5.30 every day, except holidays, um, 50% off their menu, $5 house wine, well liquor, martini, margarita, sangria, bellini, which you said you, <gasps> have, in, you have partaken oh, of yes. the sangria. And the place is and, really nice, too, because it, it sits on a corner, and it's got, like, the windows that all open up. So it's really, like, very yeah. open air. It's, and it's a great, great little place. And sometimes they have entertainment in the bar area. But we that's also a place where we like to go and sit and watch the St. Patrick's Day Parade and the, uh, and the Fourth of July Parade if we're down there. Or the holiday day parade too it's a great little place you can just sit on the corner and have a cocktail well, everything on fifth avenue though is so nice and you can just sit outside and, and, and you, you can, can just walk walk you can go from happy hour to happy hour exactly right and, then, and then avenue. just take an uber back home exactly. <laughs> which we did yes we did <laughs> And then, oh, True Lux, too. That was oh. another one. That's And that's still there on Fifth Avenue. Yes, it is. It's yeah. right by the pavilion there, um, which is where they have all the theater and the, and the shows. It's a great place. I think it would remind you of probably kind of like a Hyde Park or a Smith & Walensky kind of place. Kind it's of kind of got that kind feel. Of feel. Yep. And they've got a 4.30 to 6.30 happy hour um, every day in their lounge. I like that they have a, a Moscow Mule. I'm kind of partial to the Moscow Mule. And they've they got have a lot of vodka drinks there that are half oh, off. They yeah. got, and they, I think you have to, their lounge is pretty large, so it actually has some tables in it. Because I think most of these happy hours are just good. Well, like Cafe Milan, everything's good through the whole restaurant. But I think True Lux is just in the lounge area. In the lounge, yeah. yeah. Oh, and they have something you'd like. They have, well, it, this is off their re- regular menu, but. It's worth every penny. Yeah. Lobster mac and cheese. <gasps> I do love lobster mac oh. and cheese. I'm no, they also have smoked fish tacos. I'm kind of partial to the fish tacos and as the, well. The, the shrimp cocktail. Yeah. Oh my gosh! It's the size of my fist. It's they're delicious. They're like prawn. They are they're prawn size. So, and they have entertainment there. They have a pianist that plays. I don't know if he's every night, but I know he's at least there. You know, like Thursday through Sunday. But it's a great place. I enjoy it. But, yeah. But then if you want to go someplace a little bit more. Down, well, not downscale, but yeah, I guess a little more casual is what I say. Casual, Venetian, relaxed, relaxed. <laughs> Venetian Bay is another great area in Naples, um, and that's close to where we like to go. And it's a place called the English Pub, and it's right in um, the Vene- Venetian Bay Village. Right, there. that's a beautiful area. It's, it's great. Now, uh, the place, and I know you didn't get to go there, but um, I love this place because they only serve beer and wine. 
They yeah. don't have a hard liquor license. They don't do a happy hour. Um, but they give you free, ginormous pickles. Kosher dill pickles. <laughs> so they sit on the counter and you I like go, a good pickle with my wine. I do too. <laughs> I, I actually partake of, I partook, partook of pickles. <laughs> Try Say that out a couple more times. But yeah, so you go there for their free pickles. Now I will tell I'll you. the pickle partaker. Yes. Ooh, I still get <laughs> They have great chili. Come on. You know I like my meatballs, but I also like my chili. Yep. Um, their portions are really, really, really large. They also have entertainment. Um, this guy's name is Andy Wahlberg. He is so funny. He He's a giant. I mean, he's like seven. So, like a, he's, so I, as I'm sensing a theme. Everything's really large. Yeah, right? Right? The portions are large. The pickles are large. Super size entertain- entertainment. Yes. Andy is like seven feet tall. And he, he made this funky guitar that's like seven feet tall. It's like a combination between a guitar and a banjo and something else. It's a bar for giants. It's, it is a bar for giants. <laughs> You and I could go and just sit in one little chair together and just watch all the giant people. Because, yeah, so it's a great place. They have um, good crab cakes, but my one of my favorite things is they have a crispy fish sandwich. And it's, I think the, the meat is, well, the fish is called Sway, S-W-A-I. I think that's how, it's a very mild fish, so it's kind of like a cod kind of thing. But that's like the real popular thing now for uh, fish sandwiches. So I would definitely go to the Village Pub um, in in Venetia Bay, it's it's really good there. Well, another place in um, Venetia Bay is Fish, and it is an awesome restaurant. Again, they have um, half price um, well and cold drinks, wine by the glass, domestic beers, and a five dollar menu. It's like it's awesome. It's the happy hour menu now. I know you don't you're not a big meat eater, but they had these. Short rib and brisket, caramelized onion, cheddar, truffle mayo, mini burgers. Oh, my goodness. They're like, they do sound delicious. Yeah, I, yes, I'm not a meat yes. eater, they're, but yeah. They, they're really good. good. But they have firecracker shrimp. They have cod sliders. They've got um, little neck clams. Um, and again, this is, I think this there just goes from like three to six, I think is their happy hour, seven days a week. But it's, a, it's awesome. They also have um, oysters. On the half shell, they've also got um, crunchy tuna or salmon rolls, which I think you would like. Oh, wait a minute. I'm, I'm looking here at my other notes. 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. in the bar. So it's in the lounge and the rear bar. Rear? Ray? Well, no, the, what, rail what bar. <laughs> rail bar. Which is like the separate <laughs> counter <laughs> thing. Yeah. I think I've already had a cocktail. Another, another happy hour cocktail. <laughs> so, again, that is that is in uh, Venetia Bay, too. And it's, it's pretty upscale. I've actually um, been there. Uh, you haven't been there, but you have been to the sister restaurant that they have, Miramare, Miramar? where oh, we went. Oh, that was, that was, that awesome. was so nice. It what was, a beautiful location. And we sat outside. You could look out over Venetian Bay. Bay. Yeah. Was, that was lovely. It's really, and they have a happy hour seven days a week, too, from 3 to 6 p.m. And again, that's in, in the bar area. And of course, I always get to know the bartenders. So Mike and Aaron, my favorite bartenders, <laughs> it's going to be kind of like when we oh, went to first name basis. Yeah. Bartender. Well, yeah, it's kind of like the Dublin Village Tavern where she has my wine ready for me when I get there. These guys pretty much have my wine and my ice. <laughs> no problem here. <laughs> no problem here at all. And they have a $5 small plate menu as well. And pizzas and they have also have good meatballs here. They really <laughs> okay. it's, for me. It's, 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 we should do chili. like a meatball crawl. Meatball crawl. Like a pub crawl. <laughs> Only a meatball crawl. I like that. Well, I know we're going to do a crab cake one because we like crab cakes. Yeah. And we're going to, okay, so we'll do a meatball crawl. Can we do a chili one too? Sure. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, okay. I'm all for that. All right. I'm all about that. Well, I think we went the first, we went to, the first night we went to the dock, um, which is again, which is on the water. We sat out. There was, it's all kind of open. You sit outside. Um, Really nice. They have their appetizer is five to seven p.m. every day at the bar, and their deal is you. They give you five appetizers and five drinks that you can choose from, and it's the uh, five apps or five drinks for five dollars at five. The five, 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 <laughs> five at five at five. Does that mean I have to have five cocktails? I believe that's the rule. Yes, well, five, five <laughs> cocktails. Five cocktails. At five, I must have five cocktails and five appetizers for five, five dollars. Yeah. Okay, I like that. Well, I'll tell you what I do like there, though, and I don't think it's on their happy hour menu, but is their um, they call it Caribbean black bean soup. It's really, really oh, good. And it has I had yeah. it and it has the little shrimp in it as well as the uh, sausage. Oh, it's. It's really good. It's good. Everything it's really we good. had there was really good. I know yeah. I had a, a salad, seafood salad kind of thing, and 
Oh, yes, you did. That was... It was really good. I and what I like about it, it is it it's, good. it's located on the bay, not Venetian Bay, but it's located on the inner coastal, I guess it's called. And it's the dock is actually at the city dock. Yeah. So you can so, see the boats coming and going yes. with their lights on. And you can actually bring, really your, boat, bring mm-hmm. your boat up and dock it there and go in and eat. But yeah. it's kind of open air, very casual, but really, really good food and, and a lot of a lot of, you get a lot of food too. There. Oh yeah. Oh, so. we were not hungry at any point during our vacation. No, not at all. We're, th- we're thirsty, from what I recall. <laughs> That's what Plenty I recall. <laughs> but then, okay, we got to talk about this great place that I told you. It's kind of like an experience. It's called Mel's Diner. Yeah. Mel's Diner is on North Tamiami, which is forty one Route forty one. I think it's a little bit south of Pine Ridge Road. So for all of you snowbirds that are headed down to Naples for the winter or just for a vacation, you've got to check out all these places because they're all very different and very reasonable. But Mel's Diner, okay, so let's let's do the whole experience. We walk in. Where do we sit? It's well, you have to sit at the counter, right? And we had Becky. Yeah, Becky was our wait- waitress, and she was just very sweet. Very sweet. Everybody was very sweet. It's it's it looks like an old diner. The decor just reminds you of an old diner. Um, there are a lot of gentlemen of advanced age, shall we say, hanging out, <laughs> including our best friend Al. Al is our hanging best out friend. Of the diner. <laughs> Al just kind of introduced himself to us. He goes to Mel's Diner every Friday. He's been going there for what twenty three years. Every Friday, and yeah. what does he get? Leslie, every time. It was the citrus Sanibel romaine salad with salmon. Another tongue twister. Notice, th- notice yes. I made her say that one because I can say things like twin lobster tails yeah. with a salad, a baked potato for fifteen ninety nine. He was very particular about it because he customizes it. It doesn't come with the romaine, remember. He customizes That's it right. with the romaine. So he's very particular about how he gets it. But he raved about it. I kept thinking he would give me a bite of it, but he never offered. Yeah, you were um, sitting next to him. I know, right? I was like practically leaning against him. Well. <laughs> Nothing didn't work. So, but we but tried. He did try to fix me up with his son. <laughs> yeah, yeah, his son that does some funky thing. What does he do? He's a he's he a comedian. Act? He's a comedian. comedian. He's That's it. Comedian. Rob. Rob Meg. That's what I Magnotti. need. Another comedian in my life. Yeah, I will say Rob does have a big nose. Yeah. <laughs> But then again, we we loved Al. Al was just telling us all about everything there. Well, we went to Mel's Diner. We got a glass of wine. Okay. We each got a glass of wine because it was so inexpensive. It was $2.65 for a glass of wine. Now, mind you, it was not in a, it wasn't a boxed wine. It was in a bottle. Yeah, but was. I believe it was a double bottle. It was, but it doesn't matter. It was a nice little glass of wine. Of course, I put my ice in it. And then we shared a chili. And it was good chili. The chili was really good. Chili was Diner really chili. Good. You Diner can't go chili. wrong there. And it was $4.19. And I think it came with the crackers. And then, oh. But then, the highlight was the biscuit. The highlight was because they go to the oven and we scratch saw them made dump them into this yeah. bin. And we asked her because we have the dollar saving divas, could we just sample one of those? And uh, Becky was just very cooperative and let us have one of those. Well, the one thing we didn't do while we were there is we didn't get dessert, but they make all of their desserts. So their signature pies are like key lime pie and apple pie and their famous mile high pie, which Four people can eat. Literally four <laughs> people can eat. And then they have things like carrot cake and brownies and, oh, but my other favorite thing, hand-dipped milkshakes. Oh, floats. When you go to a diner, you really need to do a yes. milkshake. That's... Well, or, or dessert. Got to do one yeah. of the desserts. But I think it's kind of cool there because, you know, you and I try to watch what we're eating and drinking. Okay, at least what we're eating. Um, mini desserts. So they had little tiny like creme brulee and they have what they call the world's smallest chocolate sundae that you can put hot fudge on or caramel or strawberry instead of the chocolate top. Yeah. So I think the next time we go, we need to go to Mel's Diner and maybe so take some of our favorite friends or or, or single little old or ladies. Not. <laughs> the single little old ladies and see if they right. enjoy Mel's. <laughs> so for those of you who are heading south to Naples, Florida, for the winter, or as I said, just for a vacation, partake of some of these great places and great deals. So, Leslie, I don't know about you, but I'm ready to go back to Naples. I know. That was a great time. Okay, let's book our flights. Okay. Thanks for saving money with us. If you have money-saving tips you want to share, we would love to hear from you. We'll talk about them in a future podcast. Just head to our Facebook page at facebook.com slash dollar saving divas cbus. Leslie, that's kind of long. We do have a link to our page in the podcast notes. When you subscribe to this podcast on iTunes or your favorite podcast player, these podcasts can automatically upload to your smartphone. Now get out there and start saving money. We want to hear from you.